Hi there, welcome back. So today, we're going to, instead of focusing on the project, we're going to be doing one of my favorite tools, our Tool of the Week review. Today, we're going to review our Drill Doctor. And I'm going to skip right over the unboxing and all that, and we're going to go to how to use it. So, just a quick note, as you can see over my shoulder, all of my sharpening equipment is spread important out. note when you set up your shop the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to stop at every project clear the area pull out your sharpening equipment do it an hour later half hour later whatever it takes to clean everything up and put everything back away and then okay. you're back to your project get your equipment out put it in place don't make sharpening a major task so what we're going to do is a quick review of this tool we're going to sharpen three drills and my goal is to keep this under four minutes because the Drill Doctor is an awesome tool and I'm going to be honest with you, it's a must-have. So anyone who does a lot of DIY work in their shop should have this okay, tool so in there. Some things you should know about the tool. The tool normally comes with one collet, useful for doing smaller drills up to half an inch. This is a expandable collet. It gets adjusted to fit whatever drill you want to use. And they also have an optional collet, which I have here, for half inch to three quarter inch drills. And I found it to be absolutely indispensable. I frequently used 916 drills, and sharpening by hand was always hit or miss. So I recommend it. It's a great option. You may only use it once in a while, but drills at 10 bucks plus once you go past a half inch. So certainly a great thing. This is where the magic happens, and the drill is sharpened. You probably can see it's get nice and close, a diamond wheel down in there. It's fairly easy for maintenance and you will have to replace it occasionally. Take off the dust cover and you can see that one screw and you replace that easily. So, now this has done at least a hundred drills for me and showing no signs of wear yet. Alright, so now to sharpen. Alright, so process is simple. Take the collet, drill goes in, adjust the collet down, in this case to a nice small drill it, leave it a little loose so you can turn that by hand. Now the tool can do 118 degree and 135 degree drills. I leave everything at 118 degrees. If you take a look at my web blog, you'll find lots of details and information. So, the first step, this little block goes in right along with a 118 degree mark. Okay, so there's one thing I want to emphasize. As part of the, the operation of the machine, some things you need to make sure that when you in place the drill bit and the collet into the machine, that this dog ear right here is at the 118 degrees and that the drill when it's installed is is installed so that the web and the nar narrowest part of the drill is this way and the end of the drill is up against this metal stop those are the important elements you do those correctly, the drill will grind correctly. Again, one more time. This element right here, this piece of plastic, and you can see I'll rotate it. There's one on either side, it doesn't matter. That must be at 118 degrees. And I've already positioned the drill, so when it goes in, it grabs a hold of that right there at the narrowest web, and the end of the drill is up against the metal. Okay, that's it. Do those three right, and you're well on your way to nice sharp drill bits. Goes in, drill goes in here. Now, what you want to do is push the drill in. So that the web narrowest point is right there. So there's now, if you looked at the drill from the end, you'll see one sharp 
edge on top and one on bottom. Now you turn this and you notice once those pinching arms have the drill it won't move. So now you turn this till that little dog is there, push it in, it's in the right position. You, that'll always get you in the right position. Release that, pull it out, and ready to sharpen. Now there's a white mark, which you should be able to see right there. When you install this in the drill doctor, it goes immediately to the left of this metal post right here. See right there. So it goes in there, and you're going to turn. This pivots. That's what gives you the back half of the drill. Let's see if you can get a nice picture there. Right here. A drill bit tapers off. That way there's clearance. So we turn this on. Put it into the left. And let... One clean, sharp bit. Let's get this right there so you can see that bit. All right. Now we're going to adjust it because we have three bits to do today. There's one. So there are three drill bits sharp. sharpened. Now, the proof is in the, the drilling, right? So let's take it over and drill some wood. All right, now we're over for the performance test. I've got a small drill bit in here. I put a piece of Wangi into my vise here. And we're going to drill an end grain because end grain is much harder to drill through. It's really tough. And by the way, if you ever want to make some beautiful cutting boards, make them with end grain because it's much tougher. So, nice light pressure. Whoop. Yeah, it went right through. And that's it. Super sharp. Very little pressure. Let's go up in size. May have a little more resistance. Maybe not. Okay, three eighths of an inch. Okay, one more thing I'll show you. Back side of the wood. Sure sign of a, a good sharp drill is how it tears out or not on the back side of wood. So you can see a super hard Wangi that I did end grain, no tear out. Nice clean hole. Super sharp. So Alright, so I hope you liked today's review. Today we did, like I said, one of my favorite tools, the Drill Doctor. It is the 500 x Absolutely a must-have for DIY people who end up going through drill bits like I do. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching today and have a great day. And as always, comments and questions are welcome. See you later.